What's up, everybody? Whatever, Robert here. Did you see I got a different view? Because I scored a 40-inch TV, and I had to hook up my PC to it. So now the big screen TV that's a 40-inch is my primary PC monitor. And the dual monitors I have are the secondary. But being they're not disconnected from each other, it's the same. It like mirrors each other. And I get the mouse moving on both of them the same. So it's fine with me because then I could just drop and drag stuff up there. But I wanted a bigger screen so I could edit a little better and clearly. So I'm hoping this works. I had to buy a lot of things off of Amazon. I had to buy VGA to HDMI. I bought four adapters and let me show you them. Here it is. Put my pants here. Now, I have two VGA cords for dual monitors. So what I did was I bought VGA to HDMI. I bought four of these. Now one slot is for the PC to the 40 inch TV. That goes into a four HDMI splitter. That way I can hook up other things to that one. Now the other slot has one of these and it has a splitter of two HDMI's. Now what I did there was I had to buy four of these because the monitors are VGA and now they have these VGA to HDMI. Those two went into the two splitter so that's why the secondary two monitors are mirrored and where the primary is the 40 inch TV it's moved by itself. What I plan to do is get two curved ones and then a straight one in the middle and still probably use these on the top. Who knows though? This is what I did because of my job and I like to be creative and edit videos. As I forgot, I had to order from Amazon monitor mounts to a wall. Now I bought two of them. They were $14 each. It took seven days to get them because my package somehow got lost. But I got them today and mounted them. Now what I did was I DIY'd a little wooden shelf with a pole in the middle and I put the brackets here and got my monitors fanned out. I'll add another clip onto this video so you can see how I did it. Alright folks, so this here is the way I made it. I made this little shelf right here and put a pole right up the middle. This is not the post. I just got this here so it keeps the middle from bubbling down like. The post goes straight up the back. As you can see, right there, there's the post. And I got L brackets. I got like five of them on that. Now you might want to know why come I got that gap. I left that gap here because I didn't want that big black space here. I wanted some light. I might add little lights right there. But that's the dual monitors. And like I said, they mirror each other. If the mouse move on there, it moves over there. But until I get a better audio card that has four individual monitors where they don't mirror each other. This is what it'll be. Well, I hope you liked the video of my DIY and then Amazon. I didn't do an open box for Amazon because I totally forgot to do the pieces and the mounts. Because I waited so long for the mounts, I just wanted to get my desk back in order. Well, that's the end of the video. Do me a favor, hit the like button so the algorithm YouTube helps this video and this channel to get out there. You know what to do. Make it fun. Thanks for watching.